My name's Chloe. I'm 20. I'm an art student at Wells College in Bradford, New York. I don't remember the first time I picked up a brush and tried to paint. There's a lot about being little that I can't seem to remember. My first day of school, when I learned to ride a bike, my eighth birthday. All things that I know happened, but I can't seem to access them. I've lived in this town my whole life. I've walked across this bridge maybe a thousand times. But I don't know many people here. It's hard to tell who to trust sometimes. That all changed when the dream started. The dream began to unlock. Everything. What I'm about to tell you is the story according to me. And it's tricky when you don't know if your own story has a reliable author. Today, we are going to discuss the works of post-impressionist painter Vincent Van Gogh. The dream was just the start of it. It felt like a warning. And there was really no one I could talk to about it who would understand. I couldn't trust anyone with it. No one except my friend, Rebecca. But she didn't understand everything. It's happening more and more. It's always the same truck? I think so. But this time, it is chasing you. Maybe it's a premonition. Or maybe you're worried about something. Your fall showcase project, perhaps? Right. Like the truck represents my art professors just looming in the shadows waiting to run me down with their opinions. Don't laugh. You do put a lot of pressure on yourself. You're right. That must be it. First semester anxiety. Thanks for the diagnosis. Ah, uh, not so fast. What else? What else what? How have your headaches been? Headaches are fine. You tell me if they weren't fine though, right? Of course. I tell you everything. You better. Like many of you, I have a few secrets. And I've become good at hiding them. He had secrets too. There was something about him that seemed broken. The walking wounded can sense it on each other. Something happened to him. His confidence, his serenity, his faith. There were definitely scars under his skin and they were leading him to me. About 10 years ago, they started a restoration, but they ran out of money. You can see a good number of them have cracks and no longer secure to the floor. It's fine. Yeah, there's some cracks, but I mean, the structure's good overall. Good, because we don't have the budget to replace very much. Nah, let me do that. Just get somebody in here to swap out these uh, angle irons. 
Maybe and replace the cleats too. But as far as the cracks, just throw some colored epoxy in there. It's gonna look better than fresh wood patches. When do you want to start? Me? Nah, you gotta get yourself a pro. Um, thing is, I sort of already told the trustees that you'd do it. And that you'd give us a great deal. It's not my problem, big brother. Josh, you'd be doing me a huge favor. We both know you can do it. Never met a more gifted guy in my life. Yeah, nice try. Look, you got a church full of people ready to help you out. Say the word. Right. Okay. Thank you, Josh. Ooh, almost forgot. Calls are still coming for you at the house. Got one from the Global Missions Institute. They'd love to set up an interview. Thanks. You gonna call? Probably not. Have a nice day. Thanks. I moved out on my own a few months ago. With school, it seemed the right thing to do. But really, my mom and I hadn't been on the same page for some time. Her need for me to need her, and my refusal to do so, it had us moving in different directions. Two strangers, living on different frequencies. Hey, Chloe. Mom. I know, I know, I, showing up at work is not cool. But I've been trying to get a hold of you, and, well, I, I get worried about you when I don't hear from you. I'm fine, Mom. See? All in one piece. How's school? OK. Well, maybe we could grab a bite to eat once you're finished up. I wish I could, but I really have to work on my showcase project tonight. Well, I'm glad that everything is going OK. Maybe you could come by this weekend. We could do something together. I miss you. Miss you too, Mom. Hey Josh, I woke up this morning and I just had this song in my head and it made me think of you and me. So um, do me a favor and just never stop singing with your heart. My sister died doing something that she loved, helping people in a country where walking three miles for three gallons of water was an everyday occurrence. She had such an amazing spirit. Her infectious smile, caring personality, and her devotion to God impacted all that knew her. And now, through this scholarship, she will impact many more for years to come. Thank you. I always like this one. It's my first year at Columbia. I liked your speech. It's really difficult to talk about. But it honors Hannah. And it will make a difference, which is what she always wanted to do. Gotta keep looking forward, right? Yeah. Did you really cancel an interview with Project Hope? 
It wasn't the right timing. Timing? You loved interning with them last year. I always get the sense that you're still trying to figure it all out. It's not your fault. Yep, I'm still Hannah's annoying little sister, especially when it comes to you. Hey Josh, it's Mark. Um, you snuck out before I could catch you, but we're having a cookout on Saturday. I asked Hannah's sister Brooke to come by. Let me know if you can make it. Are you okay? Why are you shivering? Did somebody do this to you? You're freezing. Listen, my name is Josh. Look at me, is there somebody else out here? Okay, I'm gonna call 911. Everything's gonna be okay. We gotta get you off this road. What is your name? Ask her a few questions in a minute. That shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Dr. Isaac Dial Zero. Josh? I'm Sergeant Stanford. You the one that found her? Yeah. She's an art student up at the college. It's pain all over, not blood. You know, the last thing she remembers is working late in one of the studios up there. So what happened? Uh, she knows she's not saying. Did she say anything to you? Nothing that made any sense. Excuse me. Yeah, Stanford. Uh huh? Hey. I'm so sorry. I tried to get over as soon as I could. How did you know I was here? You called me. Don't you remember? You said you'd tell me if there was ever a problem. There hasn't been. I've been okay. You're okay for a little while, but it's getting pretty clear that these blackouts aren't just gonna go away. I think it's time you talk to your mom about this. Chloe, it's heartbreaking to watch this happen to you. I can see that you're scared, but I won't leave you. If you talk to someone about this, I will stay with you through all of it. No. Well, you're going to have to think of something, or they're going to keep you here. You have for a few more questions? I'll be right outside. Campus security gave me a call. Said the art room you were in was pretty messed up. What happened up there? I didn't do anything wrong. Let me ask you something. If we were to run a drug test, what's gonna pop up? I didn't take anything, okay? I'm not on drugs. You're gonna have to give me something. 
The docs here want to put you on mental health arrest. Chloe, I'm on your side. Why don't you let me help you? I've been working late a lot. I haven't been getting much sleep. So you're telling me this is sleep deprivation? Mm. Nice try. This school is just so competitive that I need to be my best all the time. Because everyone else is so perfect, and I just, I just don't think that my work measures up. You on a scholarship? I am. And it was really hard to get. And I really don't want to lose it. It's a challenge finding the right balance to stay one step ahead in moments like this. There's always some real truth under the truth you tell. But even if I could understand what happened, even if I had the words to explain it, I couldn't trust anyone with it. It's a mess in there. Campus security talked to you yet? I really just need to get my project back. Your project? It's ruined. She went to Bradford. In your class? The year after me. She was always kind of a loner. By choice. I mean, she just didn't call too much attention to herself. I don't remember. At all. I bet you won't forget her now. How's it looking? Like I'm stuck doing all the cooking. Sounds like Josh didn't get much attention today. Mark, you better give baby brother a hug. Just got off the phone. Or gave your court a thumbs up. You can start on the benches any time. I know what you're doing, Mark. What's that? The benches. It's not gonna work. You think that with me spending all this time in the church that I'm gonna start coming back into things. Go on. I don't want to disappoint you, brother. You can never disappoint me. I just... I don't like seeing you hurting like this. I don't care if you don't like it. It's not about you. Josh, you're right. I'm sorry. Dinner's ready. Lord God, we thank you for all the gifts you give us each day. We thank you even when we can't understand things. You are still in control. Give us faith fast to what we know is true. Amen. A lot of people tell you to let your secrets out so they don't have power over you. I don't know. Maybe I just never knew anyone I trusted that much. More often than not, when I gave myself away, it came back to hurt me. When a secret's out, and a part of you is out. It's something that belongs to others now. And you don't control the darkness anymore.
it's a premonition. Stop. I think this is saying that something bad is gonna happen to you. It's just a bad dream. Yes. A dream about you. Okay. I'm listening. I think that these drawings are saying that something tragic is gonna happen. Okay, well, then we need to talk to someone. Who? I think I know. And just hear me out. He's one of the pastors at my church. His name is Mark. He's a great guy. He's a great listener. He's helpful. Are you serious? Like that's what you came up with? I get it. But haven't you ever wondered what it'd be like to feel safe? To feel like you really matter? Just think about it. Either it helps or we're back where we started. I'll meet you there after my shift. Living out your faith is so important. It's not easy. Never forget that when you're going through suffering, nothing can separate you from God's love. Put your hand up if you've ever been sad before. Look around. Everyone's hand is up. Everyone goes through hard times. Know that in each one of those times where you went through difficulty, God was with you. Each and every one of you. Always. Especially during the most difficult times. Remember that. Know that. Take confidence in it. I sure do. It's hard to understand this life we're living. More down than up, more lost than found these days. And everybody's searching for the reasons. All the pain, the shame, it just won't go away. If Have you ever wondered if God was really out there? Like I said, things usually ended very bad for me when I put my faith in someone else. And that's what led me to my wall. I'd been hiding my secrets here for so long, but my situation never seemed to get any better. Maybe Rebecca was right. Maybe it was time to try something else. Hey. Hey. How you doing? Good. Everything okay? Yeah, I, I'm just, um, I'm waiting for somebody. I'm glad you're feeling better. Josh? Yeah? Do you know Rebecca? Rebecca? I don't think so. We're meeting with Pastor Mark. What, tonight? Oh, there's no one left in the church. Pastor Mark's not here? No. Hey, you have a phone? Maybe you could call her. No, no, it's fine. I think I know where she might be. What? Yeah, uh, is Rebecca here? Um, I'm not sure there's a table of kids around the corner. Maybe she's back there.
Uh, did she have to work late? Who's that? Rebecca. I'm sorry, sweetie. I don't know who you're talking about. Is she not back there with those kids? No, she, she's a waitress here. Are you sure you're at the right place? Uh, yes, Rebecca. Everything okay? She's looking for someone named Rebecca that she says works here. Ain't nobody named Rebecca work here. Okay, did she set you guys up for this? Will you tell her that I went to the church? Okay, I waited there. Honey, there's nobody here named Rebecca. Stop saying that. Of course, there's a Rebecca here. She works here. I don't know here. what you want me to tell you, sweetie. There's no Stop one Stop calling near. me sweetie. Okay, either you get out of here or I'm calling the cops. You know what? Go ahead. I, look, maybe we better go outside. They won't tell me where Rebecca is. Okay, then. I'll help you find Rebecca. Lola, do not call the cops. Gosh, you know her? Yes. You need to get her out of here. You need to relax. Chloe, Rebecca's not here, and they're going to call the cops, and I'll help you find her. You need to get out of here. Chloe. We don't need any crazy people in here. You call the cops. Hey, hey, slow down. Get away from me. I'm just trying to help you. I don't need your help, OK? I need to find Rebecca, and something's happened to her, and they all know it. I told you that something was going to happen. Why don't we try this? Tell me where she lives. We'll go to my truck, and I will take you there. She, um. Okay, look, you're confused. It's okay to be confused. I'm not confused. Okay, stop treating me like a baby. I'm not treating you like a baby. Just tell me. Does she live in town? Because wherever you want to go, I'll take you. This is her? Yeah, I talked to the owner of the diner. He said nobody named Rebecca worked there right now. She was at the hospital the other night when you came in. She was? She was in the room when you came to talk to me. Chloe, no one was in that hospital room with you. How long have you been seeing these? I've been seeing them in pieces for a while now. Hmm. What, you're gonna put me under mental health arrest? That's not up to me. I'm just here trying to sort through all this right now. I'm going to show you a picture. I want you to tell me if it looks like your friend, Rebecca Cole. That her? Yes. Where is she? Just calm down. No, what happened to her? Just Where did one she go? Thing at a time. How did you meet Rebecca? Do you remember? At the diner. My mom and I used to go and she would wait on us. The girl in that picture. Yes. You're positive. Yes. You became friends? Where is she? Chloe, you're right. Rebecca worked at the Parkside Diner. But she went missing. 12 years ago. It can't be true. You were a little girl. Maybe you don't remember. I'm going to take you over to the hospital. Some doctors are going to take a look at you. You mean the psych ward? You've been there before? Once. When you were little? Yeah. I want you to sit tight. You can hang on to that if you want.
Sorry to keep you waiting. I thought things were getting better for her. Hmm. You kid yourself. She hasn't been returning my calls, so I think it's she's so busy, you know, caught up in school. Hmm. So this is the first time something like this has happened? No. This is more progressive. When she was eight years old, she, she started having these episodes. She called them blackouts. And the doctors, they said it was uh, some kind of amnesia. Maybe, um, maybe stress-related or triggered by some kind of food allergy. You know, something that she eventually would grow out of. All the things the doctors say when they don't know what else to say, right? Mm -hmm. And you want to believe them because you don't know what else to believe. You don't want to believe that there's something deeper and darker going on with your daughter. Did she ever get extensive professional help? Yeah. But she didn't want to open up to him. Uh, she became uh, more and more guarded over the years. You attend church at Riverside? Yeah. So, Chloe would know Pastor Mark from there. Sure. Hmm. When Chloe was a little girl, um, it wasn't a really good time for me. There's a lot of things that I did that, uh, that I'm not proud of. And actually, there's a lot that I really don't remember. My friend Julie works at the hospital. She said they took Chloe over there. Do you think she's hallucinating all this? I don't know. Rebecca Cole. I remember all that like it was yesterday. I completely forgot that she worked at the diner. That's well, Julie. Hey. What? Wait, what? No, hang on, you're breaking up. Okay, I didn't do anything wrong. I was just trying to find my friend. Stop moving for me, okay? Have you taken anything tonight? No. Tell me so I can help okay, you. Yeah, I just need to find hey, my friend. Hey, hey, She's just a little confused. This Come on, miss. No, no, no. Okay. Hold on. I'm not gonna believe this. Chloe ran off. They were holding her at the ER and when no one was looking, she just slipped out. The whole police department is on the search. When I was little, I used to live this fantasy story. Play in a field of wildflowers, feeling free, safe, imagining I could be like that someday. But really, the feeling never lasted very long. There was always something pulling me back. I know it's crazy. I can't explain Rebecca. Even now, it's impossible for me to understand. But there was a reason she came to me. 
a reason for all of it. And I had to find out why. Before everyone found me. You okay? Why wouldn't I be? After last night, just thought I'd check in. Yeah, I'm fine. Hey. A lot of people are looking for you. I used to go to church here. Yeah? Me too. He told me Rebecca vanished. Yeah, I know. I don't get what's happening to me. And I don't understand what happened to Rebecca. Is it really true? Yeah. I don't want to go back to that hospital. Dude. You don't have to go to the hospital. Why don't we just do this? Can you sit and talk for a while? Can you do that? I'll stand here. You can talk. I want to be someone you can trust, Chloe. I don't know if I can do that. Well, come on. Do you know what happened to her? No. Not really. Nobody does. She just disappeared. Don't you remember? It was a big deal in town when it happened. I don't feel very well. Where's the bathroom? No, it's just downstairs.
Rebecca! Wait! Rebecca! Maybe we should go back. I saw. I think I saw it happen, and I just didn't remember. Well, then let's go tell them. They won't listen to me. Here. Somebody killed her. Chloe. You should have called me the minute you saw her. Sir, I have no real excuse other than I think there's more going on here. Maybe she's connected to Rebecca Cole's disappearance somehow. What do you mean? Maybe she saw someone kill her. Oh. Look, Sergeant Sanford, all I'm saying is maybe you should get someone to go to the woods and search them. The ones along the river. Did you know that Rebecca Cole came from a pretty tough situation? No. Yeah. Foster kid. Bounced from one place to another. Ran away a lot. Didn't stay in one place for too long. She was arrested a few times. Spent a year in juvie. The job at the diner, she got through a work release program set up by the state. Sir, so don't all runaways eventually turn up someplace? Not all the time. Chloe is a troubled girl, Josh. I don't think she knows what she's saying half the time. If you see her again, you call me. Okay. I'm serious. Mom? Chloe? I think I have some answers. I think I know what happened to Rebecca. Honey. No, I, I think I saw it happen. I just blacked it out. Okay. Let me just take you back to the hospital, okay? And we'll get it all sorted out. They're, they're not gonna believe me. You don't even believe me. I just, I just wanna help you. But I feel like you don't want me to. Anything that I do, I do because I love you. And I just want you to trust me, that's all. Just, just trust me. It hurts me to see you hurting. Okay, let's go home. No outsiders, if that's what you want. We can talk about all of it. Come on, Chloe. I can't, I can't. Chloe, stop.
Hi. Hi. Are you from the cable company? I said, I'm uh, Josh Griffin. We spoke on the phone earlier. I told you. There's not much I have to say. Right. I was just hoping that maybe if we talked face to face. I'm waiting for the man to come and fix my TV. I must have my programs already today. Maybe we could talk while you're waiting. Do you know anything about cable? When Rebecca's caseworker approached us about her, she said she'd be a handful. She had a lot of trouble in her other homes. She never gave us any trouble, though. She kept to herself a lot. Yeah, you know, the news articles never said anything about her parents. Well, they wouldn't. She never really knew them. I had a lot of kids through my house in those days, and they all had their problems. But she seemed at peace with herself. That runaway business just never made sense to me. I kept her stuff. Do you want to see? Come on. You're doing no good back there. <laughs> yeah, I, I tried. I never knew what to do with this. I never had one of my kids leave and not come back. made friends at work. They had a Bible study at school. One of the girls in her class invited her to the meetings. Me? There he is. Excuse me. I read somewhere that your mind protects you from certain things. Especially when you're little. And sometimes, it only lets you know about them when you're ready. The curtain drops, and memories can come flooding back. It was that thought that led me back here. This place and I are forever connected now. Hey, Josh. Hi, Lola. I hear the cops are looking for your friend. <sighs> yep. You know, 
I had no idea that Rebecca she was talking about the other night was Rebecca Cole. Yeah. You knew her, huh? Sure. Some of us around here are lifers, you know? Thanks, Lou. Yeah. Did you find your girl yet? Nope. Uh, police told us to keep a lookout for her, but if she hadn't been around. What's wrong with her? I'm not sure. Excuse me, thanks. Thought that was your truck. I understand you've been searching down by the river. You're gonna have to let this one go, Josh. Why? Please afraid I'm gonna find something? Easy, brother. It ain't healthy. Plus, he can't let you dig out there. It's town land. Hey, Pastor. Hi, Lola. Coffee. Sure. I stopped by Rebecca Cole's foster mom's house. Just owed a box of some of her old things, pictures, jewelry, books. Her Bible. She said Rebecca had just joined the Bible study at school. Okay. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. Evidence of things not seen. That verse was highlighted in her Bible. It's a verse of hope. Mark, you know that. There were dozens highlighted just like that. So what are you saying? She was healing. Not hurting. She was having the best year of her life. Sometimes you don't see the whole picture, Josh. Could be on top of the world in one minute. And the bottom could fall out in the next. You of all people should know that. Don't make this about Hannah. Josh, I'm sorry. But I can't help but wonder if it is about her. Here's the truth. The police gave up on Rebecca. They saw her as a troubled kid and they filed her away. Josh, please, sit and talk a bit. What's the point? Sometimes when you decide not to give up on something, it drives you to pursue it obsessively. It makes you risk everything. You look for answers. You look for hope. There's probably a million lost explorers for every one who finds an answer. Then something comes along that you didn't expect. And suddenly, You realize you're on the right path. My watch. Don't move. Just. Yeah, you should go to the hospital. No. 
What were you doing down here? I believe you, Chloe. Same. What about the guy? You think you could recognize him? I mean, if he was right in front of you, could you pick him up? Hell no. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Look, I was with Rebecca's foster mom. She gave me this old photo of you two. I remember this. Look at Rebecca. You see that old truck in the background? You don't know whose truck that is by chance, do you? A, a customer, maybe? Looks like Matt Barnes' old truck. I'm not sure. Why are you asking? Who's Matt? He's the night cook. He was there yesterday when you were in. I'm pretty sure he had a truck like that before he bought his bike. Is he at the restaurant? No, he's got the weekends off. He's sleeping. Does he live in town? Out on Trimmer Road. Where on Trimmer? Gray House, past the tracks. Uh, are you sure everything's OK? What do you want with an old truck anyway? It's a long story. Thanks, Lola. Josh. God can heal your broken heart. But I've never felt him. He's always seemed so far away. I think someone hurt you very much. Is that true? You can trust me. I know. You trust me, Chloe. I know. I never knew my father. As long as I can remember, it was just my mom and me. She dated a few guys. Some of them were very nice. Some of them weren't so nice. I didn't like being around when they were home, especially when my mom wasn't there. So I would go and hang down by the river. Under the bridge. Did your mom know? That is not on you. How do you know? That is not on you. <laughs> How do you know? You did nothing wrong. That is not on you. It's not on you. <laughs>
This probably would not make sense to most people. Visiting the house of a man you think murdered your friend. But when you run out of options, your choices become more desperate. You sure you're okay with this? If you want to hang back, it's okay. Let's go see if there's anything out back. I don't think anyone's around. Looking for something. Look, I, I knocked. No one answered. What are you doing here? All I wanted to do was ask you about a photo of that. What? Not the cops looking for you. What's she saying? I saw you. What are you saying? You killed her. What? You killed her! You killed who? She's just a little confused. You, no, I'm not confused. What are you saying? You killed her! I saw it! Let's go! I saw you! It was you! It was you! It was you. Get off my property! I'm gonna call the cops! Sammy told the police. You think you're ready for that? Yeah. Sarge. Yeah. This kid Josh Griffin's on his way in. He said something about how this girl Chloe Murray just identified a guy named Matt Barnes as someone who killed Rebecca Cole. I got this. You got people scratching their heads, Josh. Okay, Sergeant Stanford, I can explain. Say, Chloe, out of the truck. Look, this Barnes guy, he had something to do with Rebecca Cole's disappearance. You gotta listen to what Chloe's saying. Chloe doesn't know what she's saying. That's the problem, Josh. She doesn't know what she's seeing either. Don't you get that by now? Wait, don't make me ask you again. Get out of the truck. Come on. interfere with this again, I'll arrest you. Now go home. I heard what happened. I forgot how fast news travels around here. Josh. Gosh, I'm not really sure what to say anymore. I'm 
trying to understand. honest yeah sometimes I feel that he has especially when it makes no sense we're all human Josh it's okay to be angry I'm so beyond angry brother yeah it wasn't keen on Tanzania, but I convinced her to go overseas. When she got sick, we were, we were too far from anything to get her help. I just don't get it. We were doing good work. God's work. I believe that he'll turn this into a greater purpose for you. But not in our time, Josh. In his time. Hungry? Can I get you something to eat? You want to tell me why you ran off? All right. I'm going to take you to the hospital. Are you sure there's nothing more you want to say? There's somebody here who wants to see you. Hey, baby. We don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. Part of me wanted to tell her everything I knew. I wish I felt safe enough. It's a powerless feeling when you don't trust your own thoughts. Even if I could figure out the exact mix of fact and fiction, I wasn't going to tell anyone. But just when I thought I was about to lose it all, one more thing happened that I can't explain. And it changed everything. It saved my life. Is everything okay? Matt Barnes. That's a name that hasn't popped up on my radar in years. But it popped up once, back when he was younger, before he started working at the diner. Sexual assault charge. God, it was, it was 14 years ago. Even then, he 
had that that lost soul tattoo. Why don't we take a ride to the bridge? And you can show me what you think happened. Are you up for that? Yeah. you doing? Looking for something? Same thing you were looking for on my property earlier? Nope. I found that. I'm looking for something else. That girl's got you all twisted around. Yeah, you're here. You worried about something? Yeah, I'm worried about you. A lot of bad things happen in these woods. People fall down, slip, hit their head real hard. Real easy to end up face down in that river. Yeah, I'm sure you know all about that. There is nothing out here, Josh. She saw you. She's an eyewitness. She's crazy. And ain't nobody believe what she says. I'm oh, pleased, Josh. Go home. I believe her. And as soon as I find Rebecca, wherever you put her, a lot of other people. <laughs> Nothing. Is that Barnes? Yeah. Yeah, dispatch, this is Stanford. I need a couple of units out of the Trimmer Road Bridge. Need to track down a possible suspect who ran off into the woods. But if they don't find her? They'll find her. Maybe it's time someone else knew the truth. Mom, I need to tell you something. Okay. Josh was right. I was punishing her with my silence. And it needed to end. Come take my hand. So that the healing could begin. to come sometimes. This is where I felt safe. Safe from what? Chloe, you can feel safe with me. I want you to feel safe. times while you're away
Anything? Nothing yet. What are they doing? I knew what hurt you. When you... I let you down. No, I can't let this happen. Please don't say that. Don't feel that, okay? You didn't know. You didn't know. Oh, Chloe. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah, they got something over here. Something's got them curious. Found something? Where's Chloe? Does this look familiar? Is your necklace? I'm so sorry I didn't believe you. I'll see you later. I gotta go find Matt Barnes. It's a good thing you didn't give up on me, little brother. You're gonna be okay, Chloe. Two days later, they arrested Matt Barnes for the murder of Rebecca Cole. Her remains were found just a few feet away from her cross. The psychologist that interviewed me said that I'd probably been gathering clues about him for years. That while my mind blocked out the memory of what happened, it was also taking inventory of everything about him. They said that my testimony would make it an open and shut case. I hope that's true. Rising up from the ash It's a place that I never thought I'd get back from It's taking everything I had To find my way back home Something's telling me Because I've stumbled, I'm unworthy All the things I've done I am still loved And I can overcome I've got to make a change Hey, Mom. Thought you might want some company for lunch. Sure. Is everything okay? Yeah, I'm all caught up on my schoolwork. Um, look. It's an invite to the student showcase. How are you doing, Mom? I'll be doing better once I know you are. I'm not there yet. And I don't know how long it's gonna take me. 
but I'm not gonna let this own me or define me. And I don't want it to own you or define you either. We need to make this new start for both of us. I want that too. Shall we go? I think this is gonna be really good. I think so too. Everybody's loving your work, Josh. Really, really nice. That's good. <laughs> Here's the rest of my bill. You sticking around for service? I got a date with a shower. Tomorrow, then. Josh, I was wrong to push you so hard to open up. As a pastor, I'm supposed to take the I'm here for you if you need me approach, but it was hard seeing you hurting like that. It's OK, I get it. You're my brother. Same rules don't apply. Time for you to do your thing, pastor. Josh? I thought I might find you here. How you doing? You look good. I feel good. Thank you. You're welcome. No. Thank you. For believing in me. You had the eyes to see the truth when no one else did. Who was it who taught you to see with your heart like that? I'm beginning to understand that sometimes you have to hit rock bottom before you can see the top. Yeah. You really think faith can play a part in healing someone? Yeah. My name is Chloe. I'm 20. I still have a hard time letting people get too close to me. But each day I get better. And I'm open to trusting more. Trusting that things will work out for me. That all my scars will start to fade. And then perhaps as they fade, I'll be set free. I'll finally feel free. different way I think it's time to lift my head up from this bed get back to living life seasons change and the greens are turning brown winter wind is blowing in fallen leaves all around Last few years 
room full of tears and pain Lost so many people that I love Time will never be the same Accepting they're gone is still so hard to believe But life goes on and on Regardless of what I need Free Oh, mm-hmm. 